To capture carbon dioxide, we need to separate it from other gases. This can be done, but it takes huge amounts of energy. Uh, for example, gas separation processes currently consume about 10 to 15 percent of the total energy demand of the United States. So this business of gas separation is unsustainable at that energy consumption level. My name is Professor Stuart James, and I research more efficient methods of carbon capture using chemical methods and innovative materials. We're working on a new class of liquid solvents that can dissolve very large amounts of carbon dioxide using far less energy than current gas separation methods. We use what are called porous liquids. They look a little bit like milk to the human eye, but if you look under a microscope, you would see that the liquid is full of tiny holes, each about the size of a carbon dioxide molecule. And these holes then fill up with carbon dioxide when they're exposed to the gas. And they're easy to regenerate. We can get the gas back out afterwards so that you can reuse the porous liquid. And this makes the whole business of carbon dioxide capture separation much more efficient. At the moment, carbon dioxide capture from power plants is so inefficient that it can't really be done at scale. The amine liquids that they use would use about 30% of the power produced by the plant itself simply to do the separation process. And that's not sustainable, not economic. But these sorts of liquids make the whole process much more efficient and potentially feasible. This technology can not only be used to capture carbon dioxide from power plants, but can also be used for efficient production of zero carbon fuels like hydrogen. Another question then is once you've captured the carbon dioxide, what do you do with it? What do you do to make it useful or to store it over long periods? And for that, I'll pass over to my colleague, Dr. Chun-Fei Wu. Using chemical processes, we can convert carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide, methane, methanol, or other chemicals and fuels. We are working on using very simple materials, such as modified limestone, such as this, to reduce the cost of this process Usually, CO2 capture and conversion are two separate steps, but using these new techniques, we have been able to combine these two into one step. It is called integrated CO2 capture and utilization. This makes the utilization of the cap captured CO2 for fuels and chemicals more energy efficient and cheaper, so it can be done on a large scale. These techniques are all crucial to reducing the amount of carbon dioxide we release into the atmosphere without sacrificing our energy needs.